It is going to be a virtual cornucopia of bets for you on this Saturday edition of the Power Five. I've got two college football week zero bets, two English Premier League bets, and one Major League Baseball winner for you. Been a very good week on the show thus far. Go ahead, smash that like button if you've been enjoying these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. And as a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these selections for Saturday. No, we're going to start it off. What better way to start the weekend than with a little EPL? First play, Brighton draw no bet. Manchester United versus Manchester United. This match is 7.30 a.m. Eastern, so lunchtime over on the other side of the pond. Last Friday, I tweeted I would be getting my revenge on Manchester United, and now's the time to do it. By the way, feel free to follow me at Brian Power underscore wins on X. Anyway, getting back to this fixture, I was really upset that I had to settle for a push on Fulham plus one in the opening match of the Premier League season. Man U prevailed there 1-0. That lone goal came late, 87th minute. Now, as I discussed in the analysis for that one, Man U, massive overachievers last season, still only finished eighth despite that overachieving. Per understat, Eric Ten Hag's side was actually 15th in both expected goal difference and and expected points. That was ahead of only West Ham, Wolves, and the three relegated sides. This week, the Red Devils head down to the South Coast to face Brighton. Brighton had no problem with 10-man Everton last week, winning 3-0. That comes on the heels of a fantastic preseason where the Seagulls won all four matches by an aggregate score of 14-3. Over the last five head-to-head meetings with Manchester United, get this, Brighton has won four times. I love being able to get them draw no bet here. That means a draw would be a push, not a loss. We're not playing the three-way line here. We're playing the spread. Make no mistake about it, though. I expect Brighton to claim all three points in this one. My second Premier League play for the show today is another draw no bet. Nottingham Forest against Southampton. I like Nottingham Forest here. Uh, Southampton was pretty lucky to walk away. Only 1-0 losers to Newcastle United last week. Remember, Newcastle, they were down a man due to a terrible, phony red card early on. They still managed to score, then hold on for the victory. Southampton, of course, freshly promoted this season back in the top flight. It's going to be a challenge for the Saints to escape the relegation zone, quite frankly. Now, Forest is one of the top flight holdovers that figures to be in that relegation battle as well. But the Tricky Trees, they deserve better than a 1-1 draw with Bournemouth the opening match week. Forrest did lose to Neo to a brutal loss, or to a brutal injury, pardon me, early on, but they still led most of that match uh, before giving up a late equalizer, so they had to settle for a point. Key trend for this one, Forrest have never lost in six all-time visits to Southampton, winning four and drawing twice. Again, it's Forrest draw no bet versus Southampton. That is the play here. I think Forrest gets all three points. We've got the insurance in case of a draw. Now, before I switch gears to college football, a reminder. It's Wager Talk's 10th anniversary. We're celebrating all weekend long by allowing you to take 30% off any individual pick or all access uh, pass purchase. That's one day, three days, seven days, 30 days, even up to a full year subscription. No limit on how long you can take advantage or how often you can take advantage, I should say. Just be sure to use coupon code 10 year at checkout. That's 10YEAR, and you will get that instant 30% savings. Okay, college football week zero is here, and we're actually going to stay over in Europe, <laughs> as luck would have it, as Florida State and Georgia Tech. Opened the college football season in Dublin, Ireland. There was plenty of early support for the dog in this ACC matchup as Georgia Tech was bet all the way down to plus 10 at some shops. And that's when we started to see the buyback on Florida State. I think that early support on the Yellow Jackets was a byproduct of three things. One, Florida State's going to be without their offensive coordinator. He's suspended. Two, there's a general desire, it seems, to fade the Knolls coming into this season. They were left out of the playoff last year, of course. They get hammered in the bowl by Georgia. Lose a lot of talent. Three, under head coach Brent Key, Georgia Tech. This is the third reason I think they've gotten support. They're a perfect 4-0 straight up against ranked ACC foes under Key. Now let's attack those points one by one, shall we? First, not having the OC is not going to be a huge deal for Florida State. They've had an entire offseason to prepare. Two, FSU's obviously brought some a lot of new talent, including DJU at quarterback. Norvell hit the portal hard. Lastly, none of those previous Georgia Tech upsets over ranked teams 
we're over a team as highly ranked as FSU is. FSU number the Knowles number ten in the country. I think the Yellow Jackets defense is going to struggle to get stops here. My view, if you got down at minus 10 with FSU, you're sitting really pretty. We're already starting to see some that number get bet back up, like I mentioned earlier. I would take Florida State at anything less than minus 13 and a half, which was the opening number. Okay, our fourth play on the show for Saturday is Hawaii, Delaware State, first half over 30 and a half. Look, I would hate to make you stay up really late on the first college football Saturday of the year. Chances are you're not going to watch this game anyway. It's on Spectrum Pay-Per-View. I'm not making that up. So let's just focus on the first half, okay? And you can go to bed at a decent hour. Hawaii's going to blow a terrible Delaware State team right out of the water here. It was an adventure for Delaware State just getting out to Honolulu. They actually missed their originally scheduled flight. Again, not making that up. Uh, the point spread has just really gotten out of control here. Betters keep back in the bows. Uh, the number, that's the rainbows, obviously. The, the rainbow warriors, I should say. Uh, this number's now minus 40 in most places. And for good reason. Delaware State might be the worst FCS team in the country. Their two games versus FBS opponents last year resulted in losing to Army and Miami of Ohio by a combined score of 119-20. to 20. Yes. Almost 100 points they were outscored by. 99 to be exact. And the Hornets trailed at the half in those two games by scores of 36-0 and 34-13. With over 80% of returning production on offense, Timmy Chang's Hawaii could go over this first half number themselves. If we get any points from Delaware State, then we're golden. So first half over, 30 and a half is how we would take uh, action on that one. One Major League Baseball pick for Saturday coming right up, but while college football is still fresh on the mind, got to remind you, 5% max bet from me, currently available at wagertalk.com. It's my favorite season win total for 2024. Since December 2022, I've hit 70% with top-rated college football selections. This is the first time I've ever released a win total, let alone made one a 5%. Just head on over to wt.buzz slash BP to get it now. And you can get 30% off by using coupon code 10YEAR. That's 10YER. One more time. All right, let's round things out in MLB by taking the Miami Marlins against the Chicago Cubs on Saturday. For just the third time in 26 starts, rookie Shota Imanaga will be facing an opponent for the second time. Talked about this a lot uh, on Wager Talk TV throughout the last couple months. First two times, Imanaga... Faced an opponent for the second time. What happened? Well, he allowed 10 runs in three innings against the Mets. And he allowed four runs in six and two-thirds innings against the Cardinals. Back in April, when Imanaga faced Miami for the first time, he allowed three runs in six innings. I think the fish better that number on Saturday. Valente Belozo is on the hill uh, for Miami on Saturday. In the month of August, what's he done? How about post a 1.57 ERA, allowing just four runs and 23 innings pitched? So here's the deal. I'm recording this late Friday afternoon. The line just coming out for Saturday. Imanaga and the Cubs, it looks like they're opening right around minus 150 on the money line. Let's see what price we can get on Miami plus one and a half on the run line. If it's too much juice, though, then I'm going to be back in Marlins first five plus half a run. So it's going to be, I want the run line. I want a little insurance with Miami in my back pocket if I'm going to take them, even with Imanaga's struggles, previous struggles against uh, facing opponent uh, facing an opponent for a second time. Uh, Cubs bullpen's also been tremendous in the second half, so we may want to leave that out of it. I'm going to be sure to clarify later on down in the comments section. Check back uh, here on YouTube in that video. Make sure you're subscribed, of course, to the Wager Talk YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our exclusive sports betting content all weekend long. Let's just recap the top power five now, shall we? Number one, Brighton draw no bet versus Manchester United. Two, Nottingham Forest draw no bet against Southampton. A little uh, two for uh, double your trouble here in the EPL on Saturday. Number three, Florida State minus 10.5 against Georgia Tech over in Dublin. Number four, Hawaii, Delaware State, first half over 30.5. And, and number five, rounding up the par five, Miami Marlins against the Chicago Cubs. Almost certainly I'll be playing first five run line in that one. Again, we are recording Friday. Uh, that game is on Saturday of afternoon, of course, 410 Eastern. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. We always appreciate the support. 
Again, if you haven't subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, do so now. Click that bell, instant alerts when new shows drop. Not only do I drop the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. What a fun time that is. Great 15 minutes to uh, open your day uh, during the work week. And that's going to do it for the Power 5 here on Saturday, August 24th. Once again, you can find my picks, wt.buzz slash pp. You can find me on X at Brian Power underscore wins. Until next time, as I always say, let's cash some tickets.